I didn't like the generator that came with Final Cut Pro called Blob, so I made my own. It's one of the cool things about getting into motion is you get bored with something, you can get in and change it. But this one is not the same at all as the original. Uh, the original has set pathways for the motion and there's very little you can do but except change the colors of the different layers. Well, this one has a lot more going for it. It has a solid background and you can change the opacity if you want to use the background or not. That's up to you and you can change the color because there is random motion in this and sometimes the blobs go off the screen and you'll want either to have the background show up like this or not. I just got a new fish tank. That's what you're seeing in the background. It's a couple of test shots. I have more work to do to get good exposures on that. It's just a little too noisy for my taste. Anyway, you can click the random motion generator and it creates new pathways for these. You can crank up the speed. When you stretch this out, that's going to be important. Let me trim this back a little bit. It really helps to render stuff sometimes. Uh, let me get this background back up. There we go. The color picker is here. It's a gradient. You can just go through and customize this any way you want to. If you don't want these standard colors that I've kind of already done, you can just pull off the ones you don't like, recreate new ones. change the opacity blend these things up any way you like uh, the amount and the frequency will help you change the speed of the motion of these let me get that up there's a bounce effect on the borders so that the blobs don't just go away completely they will come back into the scene all right And being able to change the speed is pretty important, if, especially if you stretch out the generator. It's automatically going to slow the motion down a little bit. So you will want to be able to control that. You can add as many points as you like and play with the scale. scale randomness and if you don't like the arrangement the position or any of that that goes with the basically the replicator that set up all of these points you can just randomize their positions uh, since it's the positions that are changing and the scale of the individual blobs are changing and the colors will change. Anyway, this is a simple little generator. It's a lot more versatile than the one that comes with Final Cut. Let's put this over some video, take out the background somewhat.
you can go to the video tab and change the blend mode there you have it hope you like it you can download it from the link in the description there's more got to get to them so I'll catch you on the next one thanks for watching